Hello friends and good afternoon. In the all sessions of plastic analysis, till now we have solved various numericals for finding out shape factors. Then we have carried out plastic analysis of beams, single span beams, multi span beams, and some combinations. Today we shall start with portal frames. Okay. So let us start for the plastic analysis of portal frames. This is one simple single base single span frame which is having these two loads. One is on this beam column joint. Let us say it is 35 kN. And there is another central point load of 45 kN. Okay, this is 3 meter. Height of column is 4 meter. And MP value for all the members is same. Okay. One more thing is given load factor. load factor is given as 1.5 it means these two values of loads are working loads so convert these two values into collapse loads Con multiply 35 by 1.5 and 45 by 1.5 so 35 into 1.5 is one uh, fifty two point five kilonewton. Okay, and that of forty five is sixty seven point five. Correct. Please verify these values first. So we have to solve this problem using these two values and not thirty five and forty five. Specifically, when it is given that load factor is some value, then you multiply given loads by load factor and then start solving ok so while solving frames always start with beam mechanism there are three mechanisms in beam problems there was only one mechanism beam mechanism in frames there may be either at least two or three mechanisms which are those two or three Compulsory two are beam mechanism that is for beam, then sway mechanism, and then combined mechanism. Okay, so we'll start with first beam mechanism. Okay, so this is beam mechanism. Now we should start with this. This is uh, similar to that of a beam problem. So we have B and C as the ends of the beam. These are internal joints. So they are assumed to be fixed. In frame, internal joints will be assumed as fixed. And we know on fixed ends, we have plastic hinge ok so first we shall draw this deformed shape then we shall show plastic hinges formed one is at B another is at C so since load is symmetric rotations of B and C are same we shall assume theta then here is theta then we shall show plastic moments on plastic hinge locations as well as maximum moment locations ok so our usual procedure this is delta so this delta is how much delta is 3 theta 
so find out internal work done what is internal work done mp into theta how many times 1 2 3 4 so 4 mp theta correct external work done external load 67.5 into delta how much is delta 3 theta so 67.5 into 3 theta 67.5 into 3 theta is 202.5 theta so from this mp value is how much 202.5 upon 4 correct 202.5 upon 4 so it is equal to 50.625 kilo newton meter 50.625 kilo newton meter so one step in the plastic analysis of frame is over now sway mechanism now when frame is going to sway there will be again some rotations now when it is going to sway what is going to happen is carefully see now it is going to sway in the direction of horizontal force ok So this is how frame is going to sway. So this is V dash and C dash. Okay. A and B is as it is there. So this is going to rotate and here is another rotation. This end of the column, this is D and this one okay so there is no mechanism in the beam formed why because beam bc is going to bodily get displaced horizontally correct so the amount of displacement is delta small delta we shall assume so on both the ends this delta is same why because height of column of both the ends is same so this delta we will find in terms of theta ok so delta is how much again this is right angled triangle correct this is right angle and this tri triangle A B B dash angle is theta so how much will be this delta this side similar to this delta you just make it vertical here delta is 3 theta so here delta will be 4 height so 4 theta ok delta is 4 theta so now plastic change locations here is one here is another here is third here is 4 so MP is here so on all plastic hinge locations MP will be there so internal work done see now this is 1 MP theta this is 2nd MP theta this is 3rd this is 4th so internal work done is 4 MP theta what is external work done yes 52.5 into this delta 52.5 delta how much is delta 4 theta so 52.5 into 4 how much let us see 52.5 
इंटू फोर टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन सो टू वन जीरो थीटा सो इक्वेट दीज टू फोर एम पी थीटा इज इक्वल टू टू वन जीरो थीटा सो हाउ मच इज एम पी टू वन जीरो अपॉन फोर करेक्ट सो फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव I hope this is correct. Internal work done for MP theta is equal to external work done. Yes. So MP is fifty two point five kilo newton meter. Okay. Here is our first answer. This is second. Now we have to find one more answer, which is from combined mechanism. Our second step is here. This was our second step. Ah, uh, sway mechanism. Okay. Now third step is combined mechanism. Combined mechanism. Now what is in combined mechanism? We have to combine these two. So I will redraw this frame first. Then. This is sway of the frame. Okay, this is sway of the frame, and now you will introduce beam mechanism in this. Where will you introduce on the displaced beam B dash and C dash? So where will be that? It will be somewhere here. Correct. so this is our beam mechanism so both the things we have combined so again we need theta where is theta so here now we are not going to consider this theta why because this is after the deformed condition of the frame that initially angle Between beam and column was ninety degree. Now after the combined effect, what is the angle? It is same. Okay, so there is no change in position of B or even C. C is there, but not B. Why? Because this angle is ninety degree, and even here. in the displaced position angle between beam and column remains same so we are not going to consider this theta or this theta okay like here like in the sway mechanism step so which theta on b dash we are going to consider here then one is here that's it okay obviously theta under the point load we are going to consider just like beam mechanism because plastic hinge will be formed under point load in the displaced beam also okay so our displaced load is here 67.5 and in sway because of sway load because of uh, or the sway because of this load 52.5 kN okay so this delta it is not going to change delta is 4 theta this delta is also not going to change this will be 3 theta okay so only finding out plastic hinge locations And showing MP values one by one. So here is one MP on B dash. We are going to show MP in beam, not in column, not here. Okay. Then MP is here. Next is here. Now in this column, similar to this, you show here 
or beam not for column and then here okay once this is done correctly in combined mechanism the rest of the things are simple you just now add together what is internal work done mp into theta here is one second third fourth fifth sixth so six mp theta okay If you combine these two, there may be eight. Which eight? These four and these four. Correct. Internal work done from sway mechanism and internal work done from beam mechanism. Four mp theta is two times. So total is eight mp theta. But we are not going to consider these two mp values. Why? Because this angle after the deformation. It is assumed that it is going to remain same, 90 degree between beam and column. Now external work done. What is external work done? Since this is combined, you add together beam mechanisms external work, work done and sway mechanisms external work done. So 202.5 theta plus 210 theta. How much is total? 412.5 theta. Simple. The complicated step in combined mechanism is only this, this diagram. Once this is correct, rest is simple. So again equate these two now. So 6 mp theta is equal to 412.5 theta. So how much is mp? 412.5 upon 6. Let us calculate. 68.75. 68.75 kilonewton meter. So our third value. So we have got three values of MP. Which one is highest value? Third one, obviously. So our answer is our answer is. 68.75 kilonewton meter okay thank you if you are new to this channel do subscribe the channel if you like this channel and if you have any queries do write them in comment section thank you